what's going on guys welcome back to the channel um, today we are going to be installing a tv in our master bedroom we've got the uh mount here and what it does is is this actually slides into this so what we're going to do is since the since this slides and we're going to mount the tv right here We've got to make sure that this will still be able to slide in even if the TV was on the wall. So instead of worrying about that, we just bought this. So I've got a stud right here. I'm going to mount this and it's pretty nice because it's actually got a level inside of it. So you don't, you know, you don't uh, install it out of level. Um, I will leave a link in the description below for this. It's pretty cheap actually. I think it was like $22. And then we've got the ONN Roku TV I bought from Walmart. Um, I think the TV was $100, $108. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mount that guy right there. Let's go. All right, so here's what is in the box. You've got, uh, it's got holes on here for smaller TVs and it actually goes up to a 42 inch. Let's see. 13 inch to 42 inch um, and it came with two of these so that we can mount one so we're gonna mount one here and then we can mount one say in the kids room and then the TV stays mounted to this and you can just slide it up carry it to the next room or even outside and slide it down out there and then you have a TV already mounted and all you have to do is mount this and I think you could even buy these also um online but these are for um bigger tvs i guess you would mount these either like this or like oh, this is how they go right here they would go like this so let's get it let's get the tv out of the box and get the brackets mounted to it all right so all right so like i said this is the onn 32 inch roku tv Side, we have the remote, which I love the Roku remote. Um, there's one of the legs, one of the legs we are not going to need. Styrofoam. Oh, there's the power cord right there. She's got the power cord strapped to the back. Alright, All right, so let's take a look here. So here are the mounting screw holes. Um, it says Visa mount size mount screw m4 so let's look at all the mounting hardware we have m a m b m c m d so i'm not sure which one of those would fit but we might have to try them out because this says m4 so we'll try them out and see all right so we are going to have to install these like this with this hardware before we can mount the um, before we can mount the t mount it to the TV. So I tested it already, and we're gonna have to go sideways with it so that it's will fit properly. So it's just two bolts in each one. I'm gonna skip past this. All right, so I got the extensions on. That 
we'll go there. And if you look at the instructions, they say that M4 is MA. So we take MA, it just looks a little long, but I think we need to use one of these washers. Let's see. All right, um, we're gonna use one of the washers and go from there. All right, so we got the plate mounted in the wall. Uh, originally we were gonna go around here because there was a, a wood stud that we could see from the pocket door, but it's got more flex to it. This had an actual piece of plywood, and I think, honestly, I think the wood stud was here between another wood stud with the plywood in between. So I think we went with a better shot here. Um, we went pretty low, that way the TV mount, the way that it's mounted, it could slide up off of that. We didn't want to hit the ceiling and not be able to slide it off when traveling so um and again that's the reason we went with this mount because it doesn't have much uh space for clearance here so a tv would sit uh, out to here straight so if you angled it it would well we are angling it so it's going to be it's going to come out to about right there right behind the closet door um and then to right here so it's a pretty good size it's not going to be too big for the area um and then what I love about it is the fact that with this bracket, you know, the mount stays on the TV and then uh, we're able to slide it up, set it down on the bed or wherever, let the slide in and then we can hit the road. We don't have to worry about it. So, um, yeah, so we've got, we've got, uh, we've got one more of these. We can mount anywhere in the, we can mount one of these anywhere else that we want um we've got the hardware for it and everything so um i'm not quite sure where we want to mount it yet but might mount it outside of the camper somewhere um but that way we can have a tv outside i don't know yet all right so here it is mounted onto the tv um we ended up going with the little washer, the big washer, and then we actually had to go with these little uh, spacers on the back side of the mount so that the screws wouldn't go through the TV. Um, overall, it was a very simple install mount it. Uh, the TV told us what size, uh, what thread to use, and then the instructions told us which thread match their their code so it was worked out pretty nice um and now let's let's mount it up There it is, so I um, might need to play with it a little bit to, to figure out how uh, the best way to keep it at an, the angle we want it at. Um, it does have a little bit of swing to it, which is okay. I mean, it's, as long as you don't shake it, it's going to be all right. But um, like I said, we still have enough room to slide it up, set the TV down, and we're good to go so we are going to be purchasing a wi-fi box since this is a roku tv that way we have internet on the road um so that will be another video so make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss miss any videos and um yeah so we got the tv hung now i think we're going to build us a porch outside thank you guys for watching see you on the next one